Have you ever wondered what would happen if Earth's magnetic field, the invisible shield that protects us every second, suddenly began to flip? Well, scientists say it might already be happening, and the effects could change our world in ways we've never seen before. Subscribe to Deep Time Earth and uncover the secrets of our planet. Earth's invisible shield and why it matters. Imagine for just a moment a world without Earth's magnetic field. No protective barrier standing between us and the raw fury of the sun. Without it, solar wind, a constant, invisible hurricane of charged particles streaming out from our star would slam directly into our atmosphere, peeling it away bit by bit. Over time, oceans would vanish, skis would thin, and Earth could resemble Mars, cold, dry, and exposed. But that's not the world we live in. For billions of years, our planet has been wrapped in invisible armor, a shield so vast it stretches far into space. This is Earth's magnetic field, a guardian we rarely think about, yet one we rely on every single day. It deflects cosmic radiation, guides compass needles, and even paints the sky with shimmering curtains of light we call the auroras. Without it, the story of life on Earth would likely have been very different. Here's the part that surprises most people. This shield isn't permanent and it isn't perfectly stable. It bends, shifts, and from time to time flips. Yes, the North and South magnetic poles have swapped places hundreds of times in our planet's history. These reversals don't happen overnight, but over centuries, the field slowly weakens, grows chaotic, and then rebuilds in the opposite direction. And right now, scientists are watching closely because the signs suggest we may be heading toward another one. In the last 3,000 years, Earth's magnetic field has already weakened by about 30%. That's not just a number on a chart. It's evidence that our invisible armor is changing. The idea that something so fundamental to life could shift under our feet is both unsettling and fascinating. After all, we humans tend to think of Earth as steady and constant. Mountains rise and fall, oceans expand and retreat, but we like to believe the forces that protect us are unshakable. The truth is, even our planet's shield is restless. This chapter sets the stage for what's to come. We've established why the magnetic field matters, how it has silently shaped the conditions for life, and why scientists are sounding the alarm as they detect new instabilities. Because when Earth's shield falters, the effects ripple outward from satellites in orbit to the migration of animals and possibly even to the survival strategies of future civilizations. So while our magnetic field continues to protect us today, the questions remain. How fragile is this shield? How close are we to another flip? And most importantly, what happens to Earth and to us when it begins to fail? But if Earth's shield is so vital, what happens when it begins to falter and the signs of change are already visible? Signs of a weakening field. For most of human history, Earth's magnetic field seemed unshakable, a silent force we could trust to guide our compasses and shield our skis. But over the last 3,000 years, something remarkable has been happening. Measurements from ancient pottery, lava flows, and even ice cores reveal that our planet's magnetic field has lost nearly a third of its strength. That's not a small dip. It's a steady decline that has left scientists asking a haunting question. Is our shield preparing for something bigger? Today, satellites orbiting high above Earth give us a front row seat to this mystery. And what they see is troubling. The most dramatic example is the South Atlantic anomaly, a vast weak spot stretching between South America and Africa. In this zone, the magnetic field is so thin that radiation from space creeps closer to Earth's surface. Satellites that pass overhead often glitch, lose data, or even shut down entirely to protect their sensitive electronics. It's as if, in this region, the shield is cracked, leaving technology and, potentially, life more vulnerable than ever. And that's not the only sign of change. The North Magnetic Pole, once drifting slowly across the Canadian Arctic, is now racing towards Siberia at an unprecedented pace. In just a few decades, it has covered distances that used to take centuries. 
It's moving so quickly that global navigation maps, which rely on magnetic north, need updating far more often than they used to. For scientists, this rapid migration is another clue that Earth's magnetic field is shifting in unusual and unpredictable ways. These aren't random quirks of nature, they're patterns. And when we look back through geological history, the same patterns appear again and again. Layers of ancient rock frozen in time reveal how the field behaved during past magnetic flips. The story is clear. Before a reversal, the field weakens, develops strange anomalies, and then becomes unstable. Eventually, north and south switch places entirely. So when we see satellites glitching over the South Atlantic, when we watch the magnetic poles sprinting across the Arctic, we're not just witnessing coincidences. We're seeing echoes of the past, signs that may foreshadow another geomagnetic reversal. For now, the shield still stands. It continues to deflect most of the sun's radiation and protect life below. But with each passing year, the changes grow harder to dismiss. The real question is whether the magnetic field is shifting. It clearly is. The question is what comes next. So if these strange signs point toward a reversal, how exactly does a magnetic flip happen? And what does it mean for us? How a magnetic flip actually works. When most people hear the phrase magnetic reversal, the mind immediately conjures something dramatic, a single night when compasses suddenly spin and north becomes south in an instant. But reality tells a slower, stranger story. A magnetic flip is not a violent snap. It's a gradual unraveling, more like a dimmer switch than a light switch. To understand it, we need to go beneath our feet to Earth's outer core, a vast ocean of molten iron, hotter than the surface of the sun, swirling and churning endlessly. This restless sea generates electrical currents, and those currents weave together to create our planet's magnetic field. It's a delicate balance, like an invisible dance that has gone on for billions of years. But when those flows begin to change, when rivers of molten metal shift direction or speed, the magnetic field starts to destabilize. Instead of one clear north and one clear south, the field begins to fracture. Multiple poles can appear at once. In such a world, a compass might point east in one region, west in another, or even toward two competing norths, depending on where you're standing. Imagine pilots, navigators, or even animals that rely on the magnetic field suddenly confronted with a world where the very idea of north becomes uncertain. And the process doesn't happen quickly. Geological records show reversals unfolding over hundreds, sometimes thousands of years. It's not an overnight catastrophe, but a drawn-out period of instability, an invisible storm that reshapes Earth's protective shield little by little. Weak spots grow wider, radiation seeps deeper into the atmosphere, and satellites orbiting above encounter disruption after disruption. For a planet so dependent on technology, this instability could ripple into everything from communication systems to power grids. Yet history offers perspective. Earth has gone through this many times before hundreds in fact. Life endured, animals adapted. The planet did not lose its atmosphere, nor did it become uninhabitable. The story is not one of extinction, but of resilience. That doesn't mean, however, that the process would be painless for us. Unlike ancient creatures, we live in a civilization tethered to technology, electricity, and global connectivity. For us, a weakened magnetic field isn't just a scientific curiosity, it's a vulnerability. So, while the magnetic flip is not an instant doomsday scenario, it is a drawn-out challenge, a slow-motion test of how well humanity can adapt to a shifting shield that has quietly safeguarded us since the beginning. But survivable doesn't mean painless. What would everyday life on Earth look like during and after such a magnetic shift? how life and technology will be affected. For us humans, the first signs of a magnetic reversal wouldn't be in the sky or the oceans, but in our machines. Our technology, satellites, navigation systems, and power grids would feel the stress long before we did. Satellites orbiting high above the planet would be the most vulnerable, 
Stripped of the full protection of a strong magnetic field, they'd be exposed to intense radiation from the sun. This means more malfunctions, shorter lifespans, and communication blackouts rippling down to Earth. GPS signals could become unreliable, leaving everything from smartphone maps to cargo ships and airplanes suddenly uncertain of their position. On the ground, power grids could be at risk as well. Radiation storms, which the magnetic field usually helps deflect, would pour extra energy into Earth's upper atmosphere. That energy can induce electrical currents in our infrastructure, currents strong enough to overload transformers and trigger blackouts. In a world so dependent on electricity, even a few hours without it can cause chaos. Imagine if entire regions experienced days or weeks of outages. Hospitals, businesses, and basic services would all face disruptions. But the effects wouldn't be limited to technology. Nature, too, would find itself thrown into confusion. Many species have evolved to sense the magnetic field and use it as a compass. Whales navigating across oceans, sea turtles returning to the very beaches where they were born, and migratory birds flying thousands of miles each year all depend on it. During a magnetic shift, with poles wandering unpredictably, their journeys could go off course. While life has survived countless reversals before, this doesn't mean the transition is seamless. We could see more strandings, altered migration routes, and ecological imbalances as species try to adapt. And yet, despite these challenges, daily life for humans on the ground would not suddenly resemble a disaster movie. The magnetic field is not our only shield. The atmosphere remains a formidable barrier against cosmic radiation. It will continue to protect us, even if the magnetic field weakens. People won't wake up to skis raining fire or cities bathed in radiation. The real struggles would be in adapting our technology and monitoring the natural world. In many ways, it would be less about survival and more about resilience, learning to protect our satellites, reinforce our power grids, and give wildlife time to adjust. So, while the thought of a shifting magnetic field sounds dramatic, it doesn't spell the end of human civilization. It's a challenge, not an apocalypse, and it's one that Earth has weathered many times before. Which brings us to the biggest question of all. Is this something to fear, or simply another chapter in Earth's long, ever-changing story? The future of Earth's magnetic shield. History reminds us that magnetic flips are not science fiction. They are natural, cyclical, and inevitable. The last full reversal happened around 780,000 years ago, at a time when our ancestors were still crafting stone tools and fire was a recent discovery. Earth endured, life adapted, and the planet continued its slow, steady orbit around the sun. What makes our situation different today is not the reversal itself, but our dependence on fragile technologies that wrap around every corner of modern civilization. Think about it. In an age where satellites guide planes, track weather systems, and even help farmers decide when to plant crops, the idea of a shifting magnetic field feels more personal, more urgent. But here's the truth. Earth has faced this countless times, and the story has never been one of extinction. It's a story of resilience, adaptation, and continuity. What truly sets our era apart is our awareness. For the first time in history, Humanity is not stumbling into a reversal blindly. Instruments orbiting above us, like the European Space Agency's swarm satellites, keep constant watch, mapping the invisible currents of the magnetic field with precision we've never had before. On the ground, scientists are simulating potential disruptions, building stronger shields for spacecraft and engineering safeguards to protect power grids from sudden surges. This isn't just preparation, it's foresight. It's proof that, while we cannot control Earth's magnetic heart, we can learn to live with its rhythm. The possibility of an upcoming magnetic flip is not a doomsday prophecy. It's a reminder that our planet is alive in ways we often forget. Deep beneath our feet, molten iron churns like an ocean of fire, generating the shield that has guarded us for billions of years. That shield shifts and evolves, just as continents drift, 
climates change and stars burn out. It is part of the natural pulse of Earth, a pulse that we are fortunate enough to witness and study. So the next time you hold a compass and watch its needle point north, remember that it's not as fixed as it seems. The north it shows you is temporary, a fleeting chapter in the endless story of our planet. Look up at the night sky and consider how remarkable it is that we live at a time when science allows us to glimpse these changes, to anticipate them, and to prepare. The upcoming magnetic flip, whether centuries away or already beginning, is not an ending but a continuation. A reminder that Earth is restless, alive, and always changing, and that we, for all our fragility, are here to witness it.